Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and another question from our YouTube subscriber and his name is Darren Lim Okay, he said Dear Nelka, thank you very much for your teaching which I have been following faithfully and learned a lot from you I have a simple request How do you draw a petrol fill up station where there are no four walls but just a ceiling with two columns it may sound silly and simple to you but I do not have I do not have any success thus far in my drawing attempts would appreciate if you can advise thank you very much Darren okay so Darren your request is very simple and I'm going to do it now so your request is about a petrol station who that which doesn't have a wall so you want to run a calculation for a petrol station and a petrol station is similar to like this one and you can see yeah there's no walls on this one just canopy and the columns and how are we going to build this one in our Dilux Evo here are some examples and some examples but yeah the best one example is I think this one so far and as for the standard our requirements for a uh, petrol station is this one for the vehicle parking five blocks uh, glare is 20 for exit driveways 20 for suburbs and then for cities it's 50 locks and for air pressure and water checking points and other services it's 150 lux and the meter reading areas is 150 lux this is where you fuel or refill your fuel so it's 150 lux some petrol station is more than 150 lux like for example this one is not only 150 lux i'm sure i think this is um, 300 lux um, like for example this one okay this is too small um, like maybe this one yes this is not only 150 lux it's more than that okay so let's go now and start building so I open now my Dialux Evo software and I'll go to outdoor and building and planning and now I saved some of the AutoCAD files which just I took from uh, BiblioCAD so if you want to get an AutoCAD file for a petrol station just for your practicing just go to BiblioCAD and you will have a sampled AutoCAD drawing like this one alright so I'll go now here and I will download now the CAD file that I just took from BiblioCAD there you go so I'll click this one site for Dialux okay and now the Dialux Evo okay this is 8.0 only it, it doesn't ask for the scale immediately because I, I uninstalled the 8.1 because something is wrong with the 8.1 so I will check now it's default is mm I'll check now if it is correct mm so this is uh, let me have here it's 10.8 I'll measure it so it's 10.8 correct so my scale is correct so I'll go and click the 2d so it will it will be flat now I have this file and then since I cannot find my canopy here it should have a hidden line here I cannot find it here I will install or import again a new CAD file to make sure that I have this canopy area okay now it's overlapping and I need to find out where is my point part sorry move should be from here to here there you go now this is correct so now I can see my canopy this is where we will put our luminaire okay so how to do that um, Darren it's so easy but first you need to build up your um rectangular floor element so this rectangular floor element is your side plan so i'll just go and draw it in polygonal so i'll click this one just to have our lot area okay we'll go to your question later just hold on okay and now 
this is the boundary of this property okay so now I have my property line here and it's looking good okay let's go now and build our um, canopy with columns you can see here there is the platform where the gasoline pump is located and this square these squares are the columns so what I'm going to do is I will build first the columns so I'll go to this room elements even if you don't have rooms you can create these columns so just press this one and then draw rectangular and then I will draw it here now you can see it's there you go just to double check the canopy height here this column says it is mm, let me measure it's like 3.8 so let's just make it 4 meters height so just click the column and make it 4 meters height and then again another one here you can just copy and paste if you like but I would like to have it one by one okay now this one I will copy and then select both and then control C and then control V and now you can just copy it there alright so let's go to the 3d and you will see now I have my columns created and now next is the canopy I can use the canopy as can I s create a roof can, can we create a roof no it's not I think because you should have second floor to create a roof if you want to follow because there is an arch on the canopy if you want to do that you can use an object so I'll use the extrusion volume here and then I will follow the design of this canopy so let's go and do it perfect also on the other side there you go and then right click and then close so now I have my canopy but since it's there and I need to scale it I need to make it stand first so let's make uh, let's scale it first and then go to the other side and rotate right click and then rotate and then you go and then move and then place it there I can delete this one now and go to the plan view and where's this okay why it's okay so move it make sure it's um, in the hidden line why it looks oh, okay I think it's rotate it's like this okay yeah there you go and then right click and scale it now I have an amazing canopy for my gasoline station okay my column looks thin for a big canopy <laughs> but anyways it's the design so let's just follow it and then I will have now my yeah so that's it if you want to recreate your uh, uh, um, gutter here or platform for a gasoline pump you can also do that so just go to either use an object or again use a draw element so both of of it you can use it so like I will use the draw floor element and I'll just do it like this okay be patient actually I should have used the object so I can cap it on the other side and anyways I already started it so it's okay uh huh alright back if you made a mistake and then close and the, the pedestal is ooh let's go to the roof um, should be in the zero there we go now it's there okay and then you can change the color if you like so you can detect it and then you can insert an object for a pump station or you can just create a box if you like so just go here in the object tab and then create a box or put a box for a pump station or if you like if you want a, a little dramatic uh, pump 
pump machine, you can go to Pecan Planner and download some pump in that Pecan Planner. So, scale it, put it up. So, let's just make it 1.8. Very good. It's okay. So, now you have your pump station. You can just copy it. And like what I said, if you want, you can go and uh, do it in Pecan Planner. Or you can get it from Pecan Planner. So, to do that, okay, let's open all the Pecan Planner. So, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, the Pecan Planner is still opening. We can... Um, add our calculation surface 